Hello, my corporeal friends. It's Reusurping here with more Yokai Day Friday. I know this one is up later than you, way later than usual. That's because I've been trying to edit a video that does not want to be edited. Uh, anyways, I have a couple of new things to show off. Uh, you can actually see one of them right next to me. He's sitting on the couch. Um, so, first thing I want to show is the transforming Komasan figure. This thing is adorable. Uh, so, to transform him, it's very simple. He just turns into his business mode. You just lift up his backpack and turn. There you go. He's business. Uh, you can also store in his, basket, in his bag a uh, whisk cream cone. So let's give him his whisk cone and oh my swirls! This is probably my favorite part of this, the uh, changing eyes. Uh, now mine, the uh, left eye is a little wonky. Um, it's not something that you really notice too much, but it is something if you're really picky to look out for. So, uh, oh my swirls, oh my swirls, oh my swirls, oh my swirls. And I can and have been doing that all day. Um, so I'm going to just put him away here. Of course, as a piece, as a yokai watch toy piece of merchandise, and basically not plush or clothing, he does, of course, come with a yokai medal. Um, I heard about a glitch with this medal. Um, it must have been fixed in the app. Apparently, it used to be glitched out. It tried to do soup komasan. It just didn't work. It got all weird and stretchy. Now it just shows normal komasan. Uh, so let's put it into the watch. Alright, so uh, same as the normal Komasan. Um, I'm going to attempt to give you the QR code. It's late, so the reflection might not work out too well uh, from my uh, room lights. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see if I can't get this held still at all. Okay, hopefully that's still enough. Um, at least I can tell it is clear. Uh, but I'm not sure it's going to be still enough for you to actually read. The next piece of merchandise I have is the Yokai Game of Life. Uh, now, the only part of this that's the, that's the Game of Life is the title and that there are branching paths. Otherwise, it's not played at all like the Game of Life. I was actually expecting something more similar to the... Uh, Spongebob Game of Life that used to be available from Nick.com. Uh, but no, it's not really like the Game of Life at all. Uh, so, let's uh, take out some of the pieces here so I can actually show it off to you. Uh, it does have a nice storage area. Uh, the board and all the pieces go right under here. And uh, of course, you can keep all your tokens and everything in here. Uh, once again, uh, it comes with uh, two medals. I put them away just to make the presentation of the box better. It's a Count Cavity and Spemp. I'll be uh, showing them soon. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, figures to play as. Uh, red is Nate. Yeah, the lighting's not doing him any justice here. It's actually a really well done figure. For yellow, we have Katie. So there's our two protagonists, and wow, uh, the light does not like the yellow at all. 
again. Um, I might try to get better images in a future video of these guys because uh, the lighting's just not doing justice. For blue, we have bear. The lighting actually works out for pretty well. These are really well sculpted. And for green, we have Eddie. Uh, now, for uh, some of the other pieces. Well, first off, we have the instruction manual here. The standard promotional artwork. Uh, the full version of the artwork for once. Usually it cuts Katie off to the side. We have the game board, which is huge. I'm not sure how well I'm going to actually be able to show this off. So uh, the little uh, rainbow circle in the bottom left there is where the spinner goes. Um, the spinner does come off. It's designed for easy storage. There is one issue that I have had with the spinner. And uh, that issue is that because they're separate pieces, um, so it's just stand spinning. Uh, if you play Game of Life, you know how it works. Uh, this part likes to go flying off, at least when I spin. That is the part with the numbers. I can't really show it spinning because of the way it's designed. Uh, let's see. So, for uh, each character you can play as, you have a character card, really nice artwork, and a watch card. Uh, the goal of the game is to collect different yokai that are on the board, uh, with, except for certain circumstances, which I'll talk about later, you can only get yokai of the board that are on a space of your color. For example, Nate can only get from uh, from red here. There are three of each. It's three of each color. And there is a uh, space in the middle that's rainbow. And this is for the spin to win. This is a gamble. Uh, if you land on that space, uh, or if you can pass over that space, you're allowed to stop. Uh, for yokai spaces in the spin to win, if you can get the yokai and the spin to win, you always have a chance of it. Uh, you may stop on that space. It does not have to be an exact spin. Uh, if you're on that space, then uh, if you're the one who does the spin to win, you put down two yokai tokens in this area here and everybody else puts down one and you spin until somebody's number comes up that person then gets the token in the spin to win area the, the top token there, there will be four in the spin to win area uh, since I talked about the tokens let's actually show those off so first here's the yokai spin to win tokens uh, each character has two uh, this is for the purpose of the spin to win Basically, it's uh, like chips in gambling. Uh, there are 16 different yokai medals to put on the board, and they are the exact same shape and size as the ones from Yokai Monopoly, so you can mix and match them if you want to. Um, I think I might actually adjust the game rules a bit, uh, just to uh, mix things up a bit. Uh, since you can use the 12 from Monopoly. And it, that does appear to be the uh, point to mix them. Uh, 
So, I mentioned the charge. Uh, when you spin, you can land on a number of different spaces. Uh, the white ones, the ones you see, can barely see with the white numbers. Uh, they're plus one, plus two, or plus three to your watch, and it charges your watch up that much. Uh, the ones with the black numbers, they're all minus one. At least I think they're all minus one. Yeah, they're all just minus one. Uh, and your watch goes down that much. There are cases where you will want to go onto a negative space. For example, to finish the game, you'll have to. Sorry about my watch going off. The goal of the game is to have at least three yukai and get back to the home point right here. Everybody starts on this space over here. Uh, purple spaces... I, I was just there. Okay. Uh, purple spaces let you pick a bonus card. Bonus cards are put face up at the beginning of the game. Uh, you can only have one bonus card at a time. However, if you land on a bonus space, you are allowed to swap. Uh, sorry, I'm having trouble remembering how to uh, put this thing away. There we go, that's better. Okay. Uh, that will make it easier to show things off. Uh, the different types of bonuses are uh, if you spin a three, you can steal your Kai game middle from any other player. If you spin a six, your watch is fully charged. This is great if you're right near your Kai and that you can get to and you're not charged yet. Uh, Yokai Sloop, you spin a one, you get to grab a yokai from one of your color spaces from anywhere on the board. Uh, this means that you can be all the way across the board, grab a yokai. This can happen right in the beginning of the game. This can make it, this it helps a lot for uh, certain colors, as everybody's colors are spaced differently. Um, So you can grab that. It does not affect your charge. So you keep the same charge that you had before. And Yokai Shield, uh, it protects one metal. It will always protect that one metal, uh, so you cannot have any less than one. There are ways that you can lose your cards. And that's from those blue spaces that you saw earlier. Blue spaces mean you pick up an event card, and you do what it says immediately if it's possible to do. Um, depending on the case, sometimes you do it even if it's not possible to do. Uh, so for example, I'm going to take the one that's off the top right now. Power up plus four, your yokai watch charges to plus four. Uh, so if you're on two, your watch is all with right charge. If you're on one, you're not on five. You get the idea. And there are negative cards. Let me see if I can't find uh, Here's one. Bonus drain. Return your bonus card to the table. So you lose any bonus you might have had. And there's just one space I have not talked about now. And that is these black spaces here. There are only two of them on the board and what they do is if, if you can get to that space then you're automatically transported to the other side of the board but you have to end your turn on the other part of the portal. Uh, so it's just a quick maneuver mechanism again. You might want to use that to get to the other side if you have colors over there that if you're a color that has you know, kind of there that you need and you can't get to it quickly any other way. Uh, those spaces are also always surrounded by negative ones. Uh, so yeah. I played a game with this with my mom. We had fun.
and uh, go on and try it with a bigger group soon. Um, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it for a Yokai Game of Life. I think I pretty much explained everything about it. So, let's get on to the medals. Uh, first, there's Count Cavity. Uh, Count Cavity is a holographic metal. He is, of course, the Shady Tribe, and I have him sideways. There we go. I have him upside down. Whoops. Okay, there we go. And I know, the lights are flecking off pretty bad. Uh, so he's the holographic metal that comes with this. So let's put him in the watch. So there's Count Cavity. I can't remember if I told you guys, but I did eventually unlock uh, the uh, the special version of Hungram set. So the only one I have left involves getting the ones like Count Cavity that are to be kind of exclusive. And the other one that comes with it is Spimp, who, based off what he does, I personally think should have come with Monopoly. Um, and uh, I'll show the QR code for Count Cavity in a minute. I'm sorry about that. I forgot about that. Uh, but here's the Spimp medal. Spimp is, of course, of the Slippery Tribe. So uh, let's put Spimp in here. So there's Bam. All right, uh, here's Spamp's QR code. And uh, again, hopefully that was enough for you guys to get it. And here's Count Cavities. So uh, that's the Yokai Game of Life. It's a fun game. Uh, it's not really the game of life at all. Uh, but it, uh, it's pretty much the only way you can make a yokai version of the game of life, I think. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to put the spinner away. I'll have to make sure I do that later. Um, that's the game of life. Uh, I found it fun while I was playing it. I had done a lot of playtesting beforehand to make sure I could explain the rules, and I still messed up. Uh, <laughs> but my mom and I enjoyed it. It it's difficult. Um, the side who goes first, you just uh, spin this, and uh, the highest spin goes first, second highest second, so on and so forth. Uh, before I go, uh, just a reminder, do not donate to Awesome Speaks. They are not a good organization. Uh, please find another organization to donate to if you want to help people with autism. Um, there is uh, there's probably a local autism society near you. Uh, they're most likely not affiliated with Autism Speaks, as this is becoming more well known about the issue with them. Uh, 
There is the Autism Self Advocacy Network and a few others. Just look them up, do your research. Uh, so, anyways, uh, thank you for staying for that little rant. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it at all, please give it a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.